Biden White House calls officer who shot girl attacking people with knife racist. Yeah, they pulled a LeBron. Well, they they pretty and this is this is this is your the the political power in the United. Remember, political power is gun power. So this is the gun power in America that sees this. Doesn't I don't even know if they watch the video, but they see this and they're immediately because this fits their agenda because they want to put the push the 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 racism hysteria and you know i will in the last report that i did i talked about covid19 and how you know it is a legitimate threat but it's not nearly the threat that people are saying it is and these draconian measures are, well this is the same thing here racism is a legitimate threat something we have to deal with it's not uh it's not to the level it's not hysterical it's not an existential threat to american society anti-racism as it's being used, not act if you're actually being anti-racist, that's one thing. But quote unquote, anti-racism is far more of a threat to American stability, to American sovereignty, to the Bill of Rights, to King Bill, than 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 racism is itself. Although racism is a threat to the Bill of Rights, it always has been, and it's always been a counter to the Bill of Rights standards. But the quote unquote anti-racism movement is far far more right right wing authoritarian than the right-wing authoritarianism that created racism in the first place. And so so we have the Biden administration, White House, the, this uh this is a top this is a topic report for Makaya Bryant Columbus Ohio police shooting. White House condemns Columbus police shooting of teenager with a knife as a racist from the Federalist. This is an excerpt. The White House said without evidence that Tuesday's police shooting of a black teenage girl who charged another black teen with a knife was motivated by racism. 16-year-old Micaiah Bryant was fatally shot by a police officer whose body camera footage released Tuesday night revealed Bryant was charging another girl with a knife. And you can see the knife. It's a big honking knife. It's a, it's, 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 it's a real deal thing, I'll say. Irresponsible. MSNBC misleads on police shooting of armed Ohio team from newsbusters.org. Excerpt written by Christine Marsh. It's the media's role to responsibly report on emotionally charged topics, especially now on police shootings, especially now when you, again, when you're seeing businesses being destroyed, when you're seeing human beings being attacked uh, over the, over this hysteria that the news media, because the news media is the corporate nationalist and the corporate nationalists are using the plea of the needy to whip everybody into a, a fear frenzy so that everybody will accept the new corporate nationalist reality where the corporate nationalists own most everything and they set the tone. They decide what's right. They become the priest Kings of the land. And <clears throat> when they do things like this, it's, it's more and more obvious that, that that they mean they mean you dead or complied this is msnbc they want you dead or they want you complying with the new corporate nationalist the right wing corporate nationalist reality using the language of the left using the quote unquote victims that the left uh, regularly appeals to to exact to enact right wing policies against all americans and the excerpt says it's, well, I already read that. And uh, so on MSNBC's The 11th Hour Tuesday Night, host Brian Williams let his left-wing guest, Jason Johnson, no, no, right left-wing guest, right authoritarian left guest, Jason Johnson go on another unhinged rampage, misleading re leading viewers, whatever. I won't read more of that. Professors quickly condemn Columbus police shooting of knife-wielding black girl. And this is from the College Fix. And Matt Lamb wrote this excerpt. Assistant editor. He's the assistant editor, I guess. Well, congratulations, Matt. Body cam footage also shows a black man kicking a girl on the ground. Academics quickly condemned a fatal police shooting of a black teenage girl that occurred on Tuesday around 4.30 p.m. in Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Columbus police officers responded to a call. Let's see. But. Homeless police officers. Let's see. Columbus police officers responded to a call, but due to the caller hanging up on the dispatcher, knew only that someone was attacking someone else with a knife. The video appears to show a white cop shooting a black teenage girl and then a black officer and a white officer trying to revive the girl. Oh, there. 
The department held a late night briefing to show the body camera footage and report on what it knew so far. A clock on the officer's laptop shows the briefing began around 10.50 p.m. Professors quickly condemn Columbus police shooting of knife-wielding black girl. This is from uh, the college fix also. This is, again, with no details, no nothing. They just rush to condemn. All right, I already read that. I read that headline twice. Well, good for you. You get it in there twice, college physics. And this is from Breitbart. National Fraternal Order of Police slams LeBron James over extremely reckless post-targeting Columbus officer. And I do a video on that on uh, our, 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 our white and gold freedomist channel. So go over there and find that. The National Fraternal Order of Police, the largest organization of sworn and uh, law enforcement officers, slammed NBA superstar LeBron James on Wednesday for a social media post <coughs> singling out a Columbus, Ohio, Ohio police officer present during the fatal shooting of Micaiah Bryant. Now, I am not, by the way, for any kind of legal action being taken against LeBron. I don't want to create this standard where it's really easy for the state to define what, what you call it, stochiastic or stochastic whatever terrorism. But what I will say is that, uh, yeah, my phone is ringing and I don't want that, so I'll hang up on you. Uh, I will say that uh, what he did here is absolutely stoch stochastic, stochiastic terrorism, that he is literally inciting people to violence, but not by a standard that I would want him to be criminally prosecuted, because if you do that, yeah, all of us will be stochastic terrorists. And it'll just be, it'll just be, whichever political party is in power that gets to define who the terrorists are. That's kind of like it is now, but you still don't have quite have the power to, to use that logic against others like you do in, in most other nation states around the world. But who knows? It's coming. Micaiah Bryant's TikToks go viral alternative as alternative to body cam video. This is, this is virtue singling at its finest. I don't know their story. I don't know anything about her, but uh, if she was shot while trying to knife someone i don't really think that we should be celebrating her tiktok this is this is this is evil this is this is unjust this is disgusting and then the last headlines here a taser should have been used in columbus police shooting well i mean the right is uh so this is uh breitbart citing this so they're saying oh it's any acp president who's saying that okay Okay. What did LeBron James tweet? NBR slam, NBA star slam for deleted post on Micaiah Bryant shooting from Newsweek.com. And he has a duty. So this is something encouraging from this. Don Lemon and Chris Cuomo defend the officer who shot Micaiah Bryant. And, and I'll say it's, a, it's encouraging not to give them any credit because I give these people no credit. But just, just encouraging in that uh, it shows that the, the, the corporate nationalist, uh, maybe they do have some degree of fear of 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 the people that they are currently trying to make in their own image as opposed to trying to serve and that's the end of that report